So, today's Veterans Day. Um, I thought I should make a video because I've been, because, well, me and the other YouTubers who are helping me, you know, didn't really plan on making a video this week, and that's fine. Um, I want to try to make this vlog short. I've actually tried to do this vlog like five times, just trying to get it right. Let me cut straight to the point. So today's Veterans Day. I've told you guys before how my great-grandfather served in World War I, and I'm pretty proud of that. And uh, what's also proud is that, you know, he grew up in a culture where self-restraint, self-discipline was a necessity. And how you had to be morally strong, all right? It was just that type of culture that he grew up in, you know? And that kind of, that kind of made people emotionally strong back in those days, you know? Um, so, shout out to my great-grandfather. <laughs> Um, second thing, Trump became president and I've seen the news. There have been protests, um, you know, and shit like that in the streets, the media, uh, talking shit. And you know what, by the way, I didn't really care about Hillary or Trump. I didn't care about either of them. Honestly, I don't want to care and I shouldn't care. And at this point, neither should you because Trump is president and that's that, um, there shouldn't be protests in the streets, though. There shouldn't, in my opinion. All right, when they were protesting that night, there was this one guy that, um, and I was watching ABC News, by the way. ABC News came up to this one guy, you know, they were interviewing people and stuff. And this one guy said, all right, I know Trump is president, and I know y'all are mad, but y'all need to st go home tonight. And I, I was just, I felt the same way. I felt like, you know what? I didn't support Hillary, I didn't support Trump, I didn't care about either of them. But, people need to go home, sleep, and then get up and force themselves to go in, the, go in the morning. That's called moving on. Now, there's a difference between moving on and letting go. Let's say you had a really shitty day yesterday. Let's say, not only did Trump become president, but you were trying to cook in the house and you just messed up, you know the stove or you just caught the house like in a in a in a cloud of smoke um let's say you missed a couple of days of school and now you can't catch up on your work and you're the only one left behind let's say let's say you were thinking about a, a lost loved one or you broke up with someone that you loved or you got kicked out let's say you just let's say you just had a really shitty day yesterday now i'm not telling you that moving on is the right way because sometimes you will move on and you will st it's like you know you move it's like one step forward two steps back that's what i'm trying to say sometimes moving on is a waste of time but as america in terms of trump becoming president right and as a human being moving on is our natural way of life when you walk when you when you walk, when you try to get to destination, what do you do? You move forward. Move, in my opinion, moving on is being able to get up in the morning. It's being able to force yourself to get up in the morning and go to school and go to work and come back home and put food on the table for yourself or for your family or friends. Letting go is a different story because letting go is, some, is something not a lot of people can do. And maybe that's for a good reason, right? I, there are some things that now I still can't let go. But I have been able to move on. There's a difference. Remember that.